HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good morning, HSC. I'm Tyler Melser. And I'm Kenneth Jordan. Here's your newscast for Wednesday, October 28, 2015. Three things you should know today are, in 2015, there have been nearly 120 homicides in Indy, and an Indianapolis teen is using Facebook as his weapon to fight against what has become a brutal war in Indy, the war on violence. 17-year-old Dewan King lost his brother days after his 18th birthday in a hit and run just blocks away from the home. Instead of seeking revenge and taking his anger out on the streets, he turned to his computer and created the Facebook page, Naptown Fallen Soldiers, a collection of pictures and profiles of more than 100 murdered Indy teens. His hope is for the page that it will lower the violence rate in Indy dramatically. After battling Hurricane Patricia, Mexico is moving forward with clear skies, flowing traffic, and open airports. The strongest hurricane ever measured in the Western hem Hemisphere ca resulted in zero casualties. The hurricane had winds of 165 miles per hour and caused problems in the region, as between 3,000 and 3,500 homes were destroyed. Canada's new Prime Minister, a 43-year-old man who was unlikely candidate last year, Justin Trudeau has been elected this month as Canada's 29th Prime Minister, the second youngest in the country's history. Many different candidates with many different views are running for the presidential elections. Here is Kyle and Trey with more information. With the 2016 election building an audience, HSC TV decided to update you on the election and candidates. I think in a person who serves our country as president, there needs to be honesty. I think that's always important. So we've got right now 15 Republican candidates and five Democrats. So the traits I look for in the president, certainly I want that, that individual to be transparent, uh, looking for a strong leader, someone that's fiscally responsible, and someone that's able to take tasks head on. Uh, candidates who have thrown their hats in the ring so far, there's quite a few of them on the Republican side, we know that. Uh, I like uh, many of the things, I've been interested to hear the opinions they've had on the different problems facing our country, um, illegal immigration, our relationship with countries in the Middle East, uh, the continuing health care and education issues in our country. Uh, I think that um, we are, as a nation, looking for someone new and different. Um, now, is that going to be on the Democratic or Republican side? Uh, who knows? Um, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see in the next you know, a few days, will Joe Biden decide to run as a Democrat um, and throw himself in with uh, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton? With only 57% of voters actually voting according to 2012's election, you can make a difference. Make sure to vote next election if you're of age and eligible. This has been Kyle Johnson and Trey Curry, HSC TV News. Don't forget to vote for the primary elections on Tuesday if you're registered. Have a great day, HSC. Have a royal Wednesday. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.